I'm Joshua Bardwell, and today you're going to learn something. Today you're going to learn about the resource command in Betaflight 3.1. This is the command that lets you move around motor outputs and the PPM input and, well, sort of any input or output on a Betaflight board with a few restrictions. This is a great tool if you damage your board by lifting a motor header or a, or a PPM input or any header that you damage, you may get lucky and be able to move it somewhere else. So here we are in the command line, and if you're gonna use these commands, you are gonna have to get into the command line. There is some talk among the developers of putting a, a GUI interface for resource remapping into the configurator. That is not something that is in Betaflight 3.1. It's something for future development. The first thing I'm going to type into the command line is version, and you'll notice I'm running Betaflight 3.1. Just as a quick reminder, this only works in Betaflight 3.1. The next thing I'll type is resource, and this shows your current resource mapping. It's a good idea before you start screwing around with all this stuff to copy paste this into a text file so that you can get it back. You can also just do a dump. You can type dump and hit enter, and that'll dump your whole config, including the resource remapping. So these things here are the resources that the board knows about. The board knows that it has a beeper. It knows that it has motor outputs and PWM inputs and so on. And then these things here, C15, A06, A07, and so on, those are the internal names of the pins that those resources are assigned to. So what is A06 anyway? If I was to hand you an SP Racing F3 board and say, show me A06, well, I couldn't do it. Somewhere that's documented deep in the code of, of uh, Betaflight, but uh, it's not really easy for normal people like us to find that. The best way to know what is A06 is to do what I told you earlier and save this original resource mapping out to a text file. And so if you ask me what's A06, I'll just look here and say A06 is motor header number one, A07 is motor header number two, and so on and so on. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type resource list. So some of the things that you're going to see here, you don't see in, re in resource, and the reason is that you're not allowed to move them. Now resource list shows you all of the resources that are currently in use by the board keyword currently in use. So if we look through resource list, we can see some of the things we've seen before, like C15 is the beeper, and we see that matches up right here, resource beeper C15. There's other things in here, though, that didn't show up when I just typed resource, like, for example, serial TX1 and serial RX1. Well, those can't be reassigned. You can't move those. Those are stuck where they are, and so you don't have the option to play around with them here with the resource command. The other thing I want you to see is, notice we've got motor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 here in the resource, uh, when I type resource. But if we go down to where I type resource list to look at the currently active assignments, we can see that motors 5, 6, 7, and 8 are not present. And the reason for that is that we're currently using a quad X mixer. That's the default mixer. And since we're using a Quad-X mixer, there's only four motors. So those other motors resources that the board knows could exist are not currently being used. And that's why they don't show up when you type resource list. So resource shows you everything that the board knows could exist and everything you can play with moving around and reassigning. Resource list shows you the currently active resource assignments. The other thing to know is that when you start reassigning resources, the currently active list will not be updated until you reboot the board. So you'll need to type save and hit enter and reboot the board. And that is when resource list will be updated. So you make all your assignments and then you save and they all become active all at once. Okay, now you've got the background. You understand all that resource and resource list. How do you actually reassign one thing to another thing? Here's the good stuff. If I type resource, let's say that I want to move motor one and motor number two and swap them with each other. What I would do is I would type resource motor one, and then I want to move motor one to motor two. So motor two is A07. So I'm going to type motor one A07. And that's going to move motor one over to A07, which we know is motor two by looking at the original assignments. Oh, wait a minute. I got an error message. You can't assign two things to the same resource, okay? Before you move it, you have to clear up A07 so motor one can move over there. And the way you do that is you type resource motor two none. Now A07 is free. Now I can type 
resource motor 1A07. Done. If I now type resource, notice that motor 1 is A07, motor 2 is gone, and A06, which used to be motor 1, it's not there anymore. And if I type resource list, wait a minute. Remember, resource list shows you the currently active assignments. And until I save and reboot, motor 1 and motor 2 have not moved. So that's another way that you can find those original assignments as you're shuffling things around. We can see here in the resource command that motor 1 has been moved to AO7, but when I type resource list to see the actually currently active assignments, I can see that motor 2 is on AO7. So let's, uh, we got motor 1 on AO7, we now need motor 2 to be on AO6. Resource motor 2 AO6, done. And I'll just check here, resource, yep, looks good. Motors 1 and 2 have been swapped. I could verify that by typing resource list and cross-checking it. And then I'm going to type save. It's going to reboot. And if I type resource, motor 1 AO7, motor 2 AO6, and then resource list. And I can see that now that change has taken. AO6 is motor 2, AO7 is motor 1. I've swapped motor 1 and motor 2. And that's all there is to it. I made it sound way more complicated than it was because I wanted you to know all the nuances and ins and outs. But in, in fact, it's really just that simple. Free up the resource that you want to use by typing resource, resource name, none, and then shuffle things around as you need it. One more thing to say before we wrap up, and that is if you want to move the buzzer, I think you're going to run into trouble. You can see when I type resource, and I am allowed to move the buzzer, or the beeper, they call it the beeper. But the problem is that the beeper on our flight controllers is not wired directly to the pin on the microprocessor. And the reason for that is that the beeper draws too much current and it will burn out the pin on the microprocessor. What you have to do is you have to build a driver circuit that involves a transistor and a separate five volt source. And then the pin on the microprocessor activates the transistor, which lets the beeper buzz, okay? Well, that circuit is installed on your flight controller. You don't have to build it. And it's only wired up to that one pin on the microprocessor. So if you do the resource remapping to move the buzzer to another pin, you would also have to separately build a, a transistor circuit, uh, which many people, it's not hard, but m if you just move the buzzer and put the buzzer on the new pin, then you're going to potentially burn out a pin on your flight on your microprocessor. Okay, well, <laughs> there you go. I hope that was very educational for you, and I hope you now understand how to use the resource command to remap motors and move other stuff around as you see fit. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy flying. Oh, the spacebar doesn't do anything. I'm, I'm not recording in Premiere. Spacebar doesn't stop the recording.